guys, it's Swaggy here, and in today's Destiny video, I'm going to tell you how me and my fire team killed Skullus this week. Uh, this week is uh, the weekly reset of June 23rd, and Skullus has light switch and small arms. So, do not get meleeed, because you will get one hit meleeed, literally by anything, even dregs. Trust me, I know, um, the fallen captains are especially pain. But uh, if you have a fate bringer, you should be fine. Take down their shields quickly, kill them quickly because of small arms, etc. Now, this week, Skolas is kind of a bit more difficult than last week with the light switch being on, so you have to be more careful. Um, basically, what me and my team did was, as soon as the map match started, we ran out to the left where everybody used to run, and you'd kill the servitor with your pistols, hand cannons, whatever. And uh, then just start unloading into skulls with Galahorn. And once that happened, you you still wouldn't break his bonds because it's not as powerful as it used to be. And um, after the time, the servitor bonds time has run out, you'd run over to the other ledge on the right side of the map. And you would shoot all the enemies first to get rid of them because it's a lot easier and then you sh you kill the servitor allowing you to make damage go to Skolas and then you shoot Skolas with Galahorns um, honestly Galahorns are still the best thing to use in my opinion um, it works well for us probably everybody else so yeah once you um, get Skolas down to about half health which you should be at by now after doing the ledge both ledges um, he should it, the the taint will spawn. Um, now this is where communication is very vital. If you do not have communication and a good team and teamwork, you will not be able to kill skulls at all because the taint will just wreck you. We had to once when, when we'd let the other person know when we had about ten seconds left and we'd say grab it or take it or take taint something like that. And uh, yeah, and if the warlock had the taint. If you guys have a warlock in your team, and uh, he was nowhere near anybody, um, if he had self res, he'd just die with the taint, and then if no enemies were around him, he'd self res. So that's what we had to do with the quicks reloads. I'll link his channel in the description. So what you want to do is you just want to keep running circles around the map. Um, once you get over back to the ledge, uh, just start shooting skullless, you know and then he'll spawn in enemies so move to the other ledge kill all the enemies then start shooting them again do that process until the mines spawn and when the mines spawn you want to send the hunter out who can go invisible and all that to go defuse the mines and also we had our titan put down a bubble on the bee mine because my invisibility ran out and uh, yeah it just makes it a lot easier with the titan and standing inside the bubble with Helma Saint on you're pretty good and then we defused C and we stood on that ledge and just started shooting skulls and uh, we eventually killed them uh, it's, it took us about 23 minutes I believe you'll see at the end of the clip but uh, yeah I got a wolf slayer's claw with solar burn and another elder cypher which I deleted because I have all three elder weapons now I'll put up a video of the dregs promise and the lord of wolves soon so uh, yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe for more Peace out.